Hi, uh, my name is Oktay. Welcome to today's video about the uh, Hubble Space Telescope. And today's video, there will be the LEO triplet. The telescope uh, was named after Edwin Hubble. Uh, he was an American astronomer. And he uh, discovered the true nature of the Andromeda galaxy and the redshift increase of uh, the other galaxies, which shows um, that we live in an expanding universe. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched on April 24th in 1990. Uh, these are two uh, beautiful pictures of the uh, planet uh, Saturn. At the top, you can see uh, the big moon of Saturn, the uh, Titan. At the bottom, that's the uh, shadow of Titan. Uh, at the right side, there are four more uh, smaller moons. Uh, these are uh, Mimas, uh, Tethys, uh, Janus, and Celados. In the bottom picture, you can see um, the ring from a different angle. Um, Saturn's uh, rotation axis is uh, tilted uh, like Earth. So at different times, you can see uh, uh, the ring from different angles. And at the top left, uh, that's the uh, moon Tethys. And the bottom uh, right, uh, that's the moon Dione. This is a picture of XZ uh, Tauri. It is a binary T Tauri star system. Its age is le uh, less than 10 million years, so it's a very young system. Uh, it is at a distance of 460 light years, uh, and the uh, two stars are red dwarfs um, with about one third of the mass of the Sun. And around the star HL Tauri, there's a protoplanetary disk, uh, so we can see a, a potential planetary system in the making. a picture of NGC 1999. And it's a bright dust nebula at a distance of 1500 light years. It is illuminated by uh, a system of stars, um, V380 Orionis. The system co uh, contains uh, three or four stars, and uh, two of them are more massive uh, than the Sun, with a mass of um, 2.9 solar masses and uh, 1.6. This is NGC 5882. It's a planetary nebula at a distance of 7,700 light years. It's a dying star at the center. Its temperature is 70,000 degrees Celsius. And its size is just uh, one, about one quarter of that of the Sun. But its luminosity is 800 times um, that of the Sun. Uh, the nebula ex expands at a velocity of 12.5 kilometers per second. This is NGC 6934, also called uh, Caldwell 47. It's a globular cluster in the outer Milky Way at a distance of 52,000 light years. It was discovered by William Herschel in 1785. Its total mass is uh, 295,000 solar masses. And this globular cluster has an eccentric orbit around the uh, Milky Way. This is Messier 53. It's also called NGC 5024. It's another globular cluster in the outer Milky Way at a distance of 58,000 light years. It is estimated to be 12.7 billion years old. Its mass is 826,000 solar masses, and most of the stars are old and metal poor stars, but some of them are blue stragglers. Uh, this picture explains uh, blue stragglers in the Hatchsprung Russell diagram. Uh, normal stars are here, and these are the uh, blue stragglers. Uh, yeah, it's not um, fully understood how they form, and uh, one thing uh, we know is uh, they are more luminous and uh, bluer. This is an animation of the movement of blue stragglers in a globular cluster over time. And blue stragglers move slowly um, towards the center of the cluster. Uh, this is the galaxy Mafei 2. 
It's an intermediate spiral galaxy at a distance of 10 million light years. Intermediate means it's uh, between barred and unbarred. This is a picture from the Spitzer telescope in infrared. This galaxy was discovered in, by P Paolo Maffei in 1968. It is located in a zone of avoidance, which means it is obscured uh, by the Milky Way. Uh, it is not uh, a member of our local group, but uh, of a neighbor galaxy group, IC342 Maffei group. This is the dwarf galaxy UGC 5497 at 12 million light years distance. Its size is uh, 3200 light years. It's a member of another neighbor group of the M81 galaxy group. This is Messier 83, uh, also called uh, Southern Pinwheel Galaxy. It is located at a distance of 50 million light years. It's a barred spiral galaxy with a size of a diameter of 5,500 5, light years, so it's about half the size of the Milky Way. This is a nice uh, detail picture of uh, Messier 83. Um, you can see um, a high star formation rate, higher than in the Milky Way. And this type of galaxies are called uh, grand design uh, spiral galaxies because they have uh, well-defined spiral arms. Um, the bar funnels gas uh, and dust to the center. Um, that's where the starburst uh, region is. Uh, this is NGC 3628. It's also called Hamburger Galaxy. Is at a distance of 35 million light years. This is an image from the Very Large Telescope. It is an unbarred spiral galaxy and a member of the LEO triplet uh, together with Messier 65 and 66. Uh, this hamburger galaxy has a 300,000 light year long tidal tail, which comes from interaction with its uh, neighbor galaxy. Uh, this is one of its neighbors, uh, Messier 65, also called NGC 3623. This is a picture taken from Earth, or at the same distance of uh, 35 million light years. It's an intermediate spiral galaxy, and its size is uh, 90,000 uh, light years. This is the uh, third galaxy of the triplet, Messier 66, NGC 3627. Uh, its size is about almost the same as the Milky Way, with a diameter of 95,000 light years. This is a picture from the Very Large Telescope. Uh, this is an uh, intermediate spiral galaxy. Um, it is uh, between barred and unbarred. And uh, you can see uh, the spiral arms are unsymmetric. For example, this arm is a bit uh, bent. Uh, this is uh, a beautiful uh, double image, composite image of uh, Messier 66. And you can see again, uh, this arm is a bit uh, bent. And this is an image from a Spitzer telescope. And you can see advantage of, advantages of uh, different wavelengths. You can see different structures in uh, more detail. Uh, it's a distorted uh, shape. Uh, the galaxy uh, comes from interactions with its uh, neighbor galaxy. Uh, the arms are asymmetric. Um, there's a blue core with old stars. And the star formation happens at the um, end of the bars. Uh, this is another Bart uh, spiral galaxy, NGC 1483, at a distance of 40 million light years. And you can in this, see in this case uh, the star formation is in the arms. Uh, this is NGC 5866. It's called Spindle Galaxy. It is at a distance of 50 million light years and has a size of 60,000 light years. It could be a lenticular or, or a spiral galaxy. Um, this and uh, find out because it's uh, uh, can only be seen edge on, and you can see it's a dust lane. Uh, this galaxy is the member of the another triplet of the NGC five eight six six galaxy group, together with NGC five eight seven nine and five nine zero seven. This is the, um, its neighbor galaxy, NGC five eight seven nine, at a distance of fifty six million light years. It's an unbarred spiral galaxy. And it is a member of this NGC 5866 galaxy group. This is the third uh, galaxy, uh, NGC 5907. It's also called a uh, knife edge galaxy. 
is at a distance of 54 million light years. It's a spiral galaxy with low metallicity, and uh, most of the stars are dwarf stars. And it's a member of the same group, NGC 5866 galaxy group. Uh, this is the spiral galaxy NGC 406 at a distance of 65 million light years. Its size is 60,000 light years. Uh, this galaxy was discovered in 1834 by John Herschel. This is NGC 6745 at a distance of 206 million light years. It's a peculiar irregular galaxy. And it, um, we're witnessing a galactic uh, collision of NGC 6745A. That's a galaxy at the top. And this galaxy at the bottom, that's NGC 6745b. At the moment, it's um, moment is moving away, and you can see um, the gravitation of the neighbor galaxy has uh, made this uh, galaxy an irregular galaxy. This is a picture of the Hubble Ultra Deep Field in 3D. You can see the distribution of the galaxies in space. Um, most of the orange galaxies are mostly uh, elliptical galaxies. The bright galaxies are mostly um, spiral galaxies or lenticular galaxies. Yeah. This is a nice uh, picture of uh, animation of the solar eclipse from 2016. Uh, you can see the shadow of the moon uh, moving over the surface of the Earth. And that was today's video about the uh, beautiful images from the Hubble Space Telescope and uh, uh, Leo Triplet. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.